In this video, I am going to show you how you can populate a select list inside your filament application which is a relationship with a custom query. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So I have this deals form, I'll just show you, where I can create a new deal and in here I can start typing. Now what I want to do is first of all pre-populate this select list so that I don't need to type to get certain results. I should have a list in front of me and also it should only show a list of contacts which are actually active because if it is a CRM it is quite possible that beyond a the point there will be a lot of contacts and not all of them are contacts which I'm kind of working with daily right so that's the whole purpose and that's what we are going to achieve in this video. So first of all to get that into place I'll need a way for the contacts to be categorized as whether they are active or not so what I will do over here is um, let me see uh, inside my database migrations I have my contacts table why don't we add a boolean value which is whether the contact is active or not so table a table which is we are adding a boolean column which is is active by default it will be one because if i'm creating a new contact i'm assuming that that will be active okay otherwise why are you creating it and it can be a condition which is going to be present in many where clauses of my queries so i feel it's a good column to index okay i'll just generate all the hintings based on my idea plugin um, the one which is this okay and then what I will also need to do is contact model um, over here I need to add the fillable property over here and now the last part is although I have a default value as one I would still go ahead and add that in my factory it is a bit verbose but it would help me later on in reading the code. Now, MRS, by the way, so MRS in my application is PHP artisan migrate refresh and then seed. Okay, that's the short form I have. You can do whatever you want, but I wanted to ensure that you understand what happened. Okay, now I have my database in place. Let me open up the application. If I refresh, it takes me to the login screen again, which is obvious. Refresh, and I have this. I need to add the toggle button. So contact resource, something like this. Um, let me um, let me see the form that I have. So contact has these fields over here. I can show it either here or in the meta field. Maybe I'll do inside the meta, meta field because um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one more thing. Um, toggle form is active defaults to one. Yeah, I mean, I could have done it over here, but somehow I feel that the balance will break up. So this is fine. And I'm, I'm having this over here. Now, if I go into my list, Estella, okay, inside Estella, why don't I do this? So with this in place, if I do Tinker, which is basically a PHP artisan tinker, again a short code or um, an alias, sorry. And what I want to do over here is just check um, app models, contact find 50, like so, is active is zero. So this is working, obviously it would, and I want to show that thing inside the table as well. 
so text no it's not a text column there is a toggle column as well uh, which is this thing filament tables columns make is active and now if i go into the contact list i will see this column over here okay and i can change the statuses from this listing as well okay and now if i go to create deal i will see all the contacts let me open up this and let me search for estella so over here e s t e l l and i do get that so the first thing is i still need to search and the inactive contact is coming up how do i solve that problem well let me go to deal resource first how am i populating this contact well if i come over here somewhere hmm, where is it form contact name this is my table this is my relationship so i have make searchable first of all i'll do a preload so that it loads everything by that what will happen is if i click over here can you see all the lists i mean all the contacts are visible right now but as i said if my contact list is huge this becomes a problem a lot of entries will load unnecessarily and to keep it fast what i would do is over here i'll take these two attributes and then i have yes thanks to php storm i get this thing it used to also give me a option where i could do builder i don't know um, the builder is eloquent builder this is query and then right what i want to do is i want to query where is active is one that's about it and let me see if i now hit refresh i don't see estella because that is a contact which is not active anymore now if i go over here switch the status i need to refresh because this is preloaded and then if i do estella i can see that so do you understand how easy it is to kind of configure things what we have done is first of all i added an attribute which is a boolean value which allows us to categorize whether a contact is active or not then i added that into the list of fields that i'm showing in the table the toggle column allows me to in here itself toggle the contact between whether it is active or not and then when i'm creating the deal i have this relationship so if you see the form i have a select list which is being loaded through a relationship of contact am i i am showing the name value and i have already made it searchable i added a preload so what happens is it will i mean eager load all the contacts which i need to show in the select list and then there is an additional modification to the query where i'm saying that only load where the contacts are active now there's one more thing which i'll try to do which is let's see if we can instead of having a where clause make it a scoped query by that what i mean is let's say if i have contact and scope active so over here again i get the builder and i'm sure this is going to be the eloquent builder um yeah i'll do query and query where is active is one operator oops <laughs> sorry equal to one by default it does take it but it becomes a bit more readable so now that i have scope active if i do query 
with active. Let's see if it works. Okay. It says it failed. So it is trying to load contact. And what if I do just active? Does that work? Let's see. Okay. It is not giving an exception. And now let me see which all contacts are deactivated. So yeah, it's still, it's still kind of deactivated. So ESTE LL doesn't work. And just to confirm that everything is working properly. Now I will activate both of these contacts and let's see hit refresh yes Estella is visible and so is I'm assuming JUV okay all right so I would say that this is a little more intuitive or easy to read I'm saying query active because there is a local scope attached to it which says that whenever I am calling a method active right it will add this to the query so as an end user it is a little more easy for me to understand it and also because this is one single line query what I can also do is kind of simplify this so this becomes fn builder query like so and this should work just a quick check whether this is working or not Estella rice yes and if I go over here do this refresh right everything is working fine so we have we have brought that thing into one single line of expression which is very easy to read and it is allowing us to add complex logic to it. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video guys. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.